My forearms are so sore from yesterday. And check this out. There's no way I'm lifting heavy things today. So I thought today would be a great chance to talk about trigger points and what they are. We've done a really good job of explaining why you need to release them, but what even are they? So first, a quick bit on how muscles work. Muscles are controlled by the brain. The brain sends out a signal and the muscle contracts. As a result, we either move or we don't move. In the case of moving, muscles work in a phasic fashion. That means they switch on and they switch off. So we get these clean signals to the muscle that are controlled and forceful by the brain. In the case of not moving, however, we call that tonic. And what happens is the muscle sends out lots of short, close together signals to maintain our posture. Neither are good or bad, but what they do is they provide different roles. This helps us move and explode. This one helps keep our posture in a line and keeps us upright. So back to trigger points. What happens is a muscle is weak and overloaded. Just to be clear, weak and overloaded, they're kind of the same thing and they're kind of relative terms. You can have a strong muscle, but if you all of a sudden throw it under a heap of extra work and it can't keep up relative to that, then that muscle, that what was once a strong muscle is now overworked relative to its capacity. So it's kind of, it's relative to how much you're doing. And so what happens is this weak muscle can't keep up with the amount of work you're putting through it. It just physically can't do it. So what the nervous system does is it switches over to a hyperactive mode, which is kind of like an emergency brake system. Which sounds great at first, but the problem is it becomes hyperactive and tonic. So it lives in this stage where it's neither forcefully contracting on and off, it's kind of in limbo. It's half on, but it's not really providing much force or much power. Remember in the fatigue episode when I talked about calcium in the muscle? Okay, this is where things get really nerdy, but bear with me. That calcium is then released, and it then acts on your actin and myosin, clearing the way to create the sliding filaments that we know so well. Now, remember before how I mentioned inorganic phosphate loves calcium? Well, those two kind of partner up inside the muscle cell. When they partner up, that calcium can't be reabsorbed back into the SR, which means we can't repeat and recycle that contraction process. Well, over time, this tonic overactive muscle works itself into a slightly fatigued state with all this calcium, hydrogen ions, and inorganic phosphate kind of floating around in the muscle. And this gives us a trigger point. What we can do though, is we can roll it out on a roller, a ball, with some massage, or even dry needling to reverse that hyperactivity and to let the tissue relax. Over time, that relaxation can help the tissue recover and return back to normal. Yeah.